adding vectors with the law, laws of cosines and sines. We want to add the vector A, which is 30 pounds at 30 degrees from the vertical, and B, which is 25 pounds at 20 degrees to the vertical. Find the resultant, A plus B. Step one, line up the vectors head to tail. So let's put A first. It's really quite arbitrary. You can do it either way. And then B. The resultant goes from the bottom of A up to the top of B. This is A plus B. That's our resultant. Step two, use the law of cosines to find the length of that resultant. The law of cosines says that the absolute value of r, the length of r, is the square root of the length of a squared plus the length of b squared minus 2 times the length of a times the length of b times the cosine of the angle in between a and b. So we need to find out what the angle between a and b is. If we blow this up a little bit, you've got A comes out at 30 degrees to the vertical. If it's 30 degrees on this side, then it's 30 degrees on that side. B comes off at 20 degrees to the horizontal. So if this is our horizontal, that's 20 degrees. Well, between the vertical and the horizontal is a 90 degree angle. The angle between A and B, theta, theta is going to be 30 plus 90 plus 20. That's 140. So we can plug 140 up into the law of cosines, plug that into your calculator, and the length of R is 51.711 pounds. That's the length of the resultant. Now we can use the law of sines to find the angle opposite B. So let's look for this bottom angle down here. Angle between A and R. Call it phi. The law of sine says that the sine of theta, which we just found over the opposite side, is equal to the sine of phi over its opposite side. In this case, what we have is sine of 140 over 51.711 pounds is going to be the same as sine of phi, which is what we're looking for, over the length of b, 25 pounds. You can plug that into your calculator and show that phi is going to be 18.105 degrees. Answer the question. You need to specify what the resultant is. Now clearly, the you're going to have the resultant is 51.7 pounds at an angle. What is the angle that you need it to be at? If we look at the whole quadrant here between A and B, we know that this is 30 degrees and this is 20 degrees and somewhere in the middle here is the resultant so that if you had your parallelogram law instead of the triangle law, R is in the middle. This is the angle you just found. This is 18.1 degrees. When you're going to specify R, R is 51.7 pounds, it's either at any of the above. You can say 18.1 degrees below A, measured clockwise, you could say 48.1 degrees to the right of vertical. Or you can subtract these things out. You could say 51.9 degrees above horizontal. The point that you need to remember is that you have a magnitude and a direction, and you have to remember what the direction is. This 18.1 that we found is the angle between A and R, phi.
that was the angle we found using the law of science.